All-Pro pass rusher, Chandler Jones. They're now deleted, but he sent out a bunch of Instagram stories yesterday saying that he was locked out of the Raiders' facility and that their GM uh, and coach, Josh McDaniels, they weren't answering any of his phone calls. So then he unfollows the team. He unfollows, and you hate to see this, he unfollows his teammates on Instagram and said on one of the stories that not deleted that he doesn't want to be there any longer. He doesn't want to play for the Raiders. So we don't know how serious the situation is yet or what's happened or if it means, you know, that one of the league's truly top pass rushers is going to hit the market now in some crazy way, in some crazy turn of events. But it's something to sort of monitor and look over for the next couple of days. I believe he was tweeting like recently that he's coming for the title, like that he wants the sack title, that he wants to break records and do all of that. So that's a little sus. Um, and yeah, that's that's not fun to see at all. And it, by the way, it wasn't the only weird news out of Vegas yesterday. Field Yates of ESPN reporting that the team restructured Jimmy G's contract to create 17 million in cap space. Vegas was 7 million over the cap before the move. So something needs to be done or needed to be done. I don't know if I've ever heard of a player restructuring his deal before he's even played a game on the deal. We're still waiting on like the specifics of exactly what may have changed in Jimmy's deal, but the end result is that the Raiders have about, carry the one, see which way the wind blows, about $11 million, guys, to play with now. But whatever it ultimately means in Vegas, it sort of got me thinking about how sneakily, um, you know, something kind of exciting is in the works offensively because if you look at this, it's a real special little vibe here, okay? It's a nice collection of talent. Reigning rushing champ, consensus top three receiver. They got Jacoby Myers. That's an excellent number two. Hunter Renfro, who we've seen put up 100 catch seasons and rookie tight end Michael Meyer out of Notre Dame. That is, by the way, somebody everyone's calling Baby Gronk. He's gotten the Gronk comparisons. We asked Chris Collins at the bottom in the offseason. Gronk was high in him in the draft. So this is a little sexy little group, okay? No one is talking about the Raiders squad offensively, defensively, outside of like drama apparently this morning. But and it's probably, a, you know, I don't know. People don't have faith in Josh McDee. People definitely don't have faith in Jimmy G staying out there even. And then people are looking at the AFC West. It's such a gauntlet. But I don't know. This offense could be pretty fun. I think they're super underrated. And let's keep it going here. That's probably why the Raiders are getting the third longest odds to make the playoffs. Uh, they don't have the pieces to be a lot better than last year's six and 11 showing, but I don't know. I don't know if it's enough to make the playoffs in the AFC field. I do think they're going to be a tough draw for teams. Like you don't, like you never want to play them, right? But you're not going to want to take them on. They have the Broncos this weekend in Sean Payton's newly rehabbed, revived, whatever, re-upholstered, uh, I'm sure, Denver uh, mile high situation. So I don't know. How's that game going to go? That's one of the, I have my schedule here.